Oh, hey, couldn't see you guys there. It's getting some, uh, getting some stretching in, you know? It's the beginning of the wakeboard season, uh, just getting the boat out of storage. Um, super important to uh, make sure you're getting some stretching in before, uh, before you get out there for your first ride. So I'm just getting some in. What's going on everyone? Trevor Hansen here with the Wake Channel. It's almost summertime. Everyone's getting their boats pulled out of storage, back in the water and ready for those first couple of rides of the season. Uh, something that I definitely recommend you doing uh, when you go to take your first set is let's get some stretching in. Um, everyone needs to get warmed up, get the body flowing a little bit before you get out on the water. Uh, a lot of us have spent time in the gym in the off season, but it's super important to remember to get the muscles ready to go right before you hop on the water. There's a lot of different stretches that you can do. Some of the areas that you really wanna stretch are your knees, ankles, and hips. Uh, definitely some in the shoulders as well. Um, this is a lizard pose. You get that back leg behind you, get that front leg at a 90 and just kind of lean forward, um, pushing your knee out and pushing this leg down. Um, that'll kind of help stretch out your groin and your hips. You can hold it for 30 seconds on each side and then switch. That's one of my favorites. Um, a sumo squat is another one that I really like to do. You can get right back here on the back of the boat and hang on to your pylon and just kind of get down, get those knees loosened up, get your hips loosened up, uh, and just stretch it all out. You can actually use some of your boating equipment too to help you stretch. If you swivel the rack in like this, or even if you can hang on to the tower, a simple dive through stretch, keeping your arms straight, just letting your ha head hang low in between your arms and just kind of let your shoulders relax. So it'll really stretch your shoulders and your upper back. Another easy one to do is just get a little hamstring stretch. Just put your leg up on top of one of the gunnels or seats. Get that leg straight and just lean forward. If you can reach down and grab your toes, that's nice. Just hits the whole back side of the leg. Keep both those legs straight. As you can tell from my examples, I'm definitely not a professional yogi. Um, I'm not a yoga artist, but I still get the benefits of the stretches. Uh, it's something that you wanna do before you go out and ride, get the blood flowing, get the knees, hips, shoulders, and ankles all loosened up before you get out there. It'll really help you throughout the season, stay healthy, prevent those injuries. Uh, show us what your stretches are. Hit us up in the comments. Um, if you think my stretch uh, stretches are lame, let us know. Let's see what yours are.